Hi Water Signs and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether or not you and your connecting romantic energy will be given a second chance. So I guess this is for those of you who are still, um, you still have an emotional thread that ties you to someone and the two of you may not actually be together here. There may be a separation or for whatever reason, um, you know, the relationship hasn't manifested the way in which you wanted it to. So we're going to ask the tarot guides whether you will be given a second chance in the near future or perhaps in the distant future. The reading here is going to be a general reading, therefore the messages will be reflect that will be reflected will be general. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So once again, this reading is intended for all water energies. That's you, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course those cross-watching as well. So we'll go ahead and pull out a few cards, and we'll also pull out um, a card from the Angel answers just to hopefully give us maybe a time frame um, with regards to your reconciliation when you might come together here so will you be given a second chance sometimes we don't get it right the first time so we'll see if you will be given a second chance with this individual Fortune here, Queen of Wands, <clears throat> Two of Wands, Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Okay, you've got a lot of fire energy here, guys, and fire energy is a very primal type of energy. Um, I can see that there is still quite an attraction that exists between the two of you, so I feel like the two of you are still quite attracted to one another. Um, and you're definitely physically attracted to one another, but I feel like it stems beyond a physical attraction as well. I feel like there's something there. They might have sparked a fire within you, or you might have ignited something within them. There's still something that connects the two of you together. So even if you're not in a relationship, if this person has moved on, or if you have moved on with someone else, or if neither of you have moved on, you're just not in contact with one another, there's still something there left to explore. I do like the Wheel of Fortune here, because the Wheel of Fortune um, is, to me, it's the Wheel of Fate. That's how I see it, and it's, it's the Hand of Fate. Ultimately, it reminds us that life is made up of ups and downs, okay? And such is the rhythm of life. And I feel like what the cards are telling you here, in particular with the Wheel of Fortune, is just because right now you're not at a place where you you want to be with this individual. Maybe you're not manifesting the relationship that you want with them. Maybe the two of you aren't communicating. You know, maybe you haven't crossed paths and this person isn't reaching out or they're not responding. The Wheel of Fortune, it, it's a reminder that things are about to take um, a turn for, and I feel like it's for the better. So... In short, yes, I do see you getting a second chance with this individual purely because I feel like you didn't get to do things right the first time around. I also feel like something here, I don't know if you yourself robbed yourself of the opportunity to get to know one another or maybe this person was um, still working on themselves. For whatever reason, you have to understand that just because it hasn't happened in your timeline here with this person, it doesn't mean that it's not happening at all. Sometimes... Um, events and certain things do play out for us, just not in our timeline, but um, eventually in, you know, in the universe's timeline. So just because it hasn't happened for you earlier, it doesn't mean that it's not happening for you at all, because there is an attraction there. And if, the, and if you do reach out to this person, I do see them responding. However, I feel like it's going to be, for a lot of you, um, I feel like it's so, quite some time is going to pass before the two of you pick up um, and have communication or before the two of you just pick things up again. I feel like there's quite some time that passes. Now, I get this because I feel like both of you have sort of been working on yourselves or the reason why the universe has sort of drifted the two of you apart is that the universe wanted for the two of you to work on yourselves individually. I feel like this person had to I can see that they've been really building up their career and really trying to build a reputation. And I can see that you needed to do some inner work here on your energies. So 
And this is why I feel, I feel like the distance he has been a blessing in disguise, although it may not seem like that. But I feel like everything will make sense once the two of you come back together. Because I feel like the two of you needed to come apart so you can improve yourselves as individuals and you can improve on the relationship you have with yourself. Because essentially the relationship that you have with yourself sets the tone for all future relationships. So you need to have a good relationship with yourself first. And I feel like that's what's been happening in the time that the two of you grow apart. You've been working on yourself. He or she has been working on themselves so that when you come together, um, the two of you just fit perfectly. So I can see that there's still quite an attraction, a very strong attraction. Now that fire that you lit up and that you ignited within them, that hasn't been put out. The flames there, all, all it needs to do, I see that the, fang, the flames fanning back up again when you do communicate. So when you do reach out or when the two of you do communicate, I just want to mention that it needs to happen with the energies that I get. I feel like make sure you've been, because the chariot here, is sort of signaling to me make sure it feels right okay so if you're not ready to reach out to this person because you feel like you haven't finished working on yourself yet or you know you feel like there's still some things you want to um, work on before you communicate or you reach out or you come back to one another make sure you do you first okay make sure you're ready because what's going to happen is if you reach out in a time where you don't feel like you're ready to explore the connections because this individual, what you have with this individual, I feel like there's a future in it, okay? And I do feel like this is someone, this person here, I don't feel like they want to play around or waste your time. I feel like this person wants commitment and they want a relationship. Um, I can see, and I can see, look, it's, I feel like what the two of you had, it's complicated, okay? It's a complicated emotional state of affairs. But sometimes we as individuals, we further tend to complicate things. Okay, the sky is blue purely. Okay, but as individuals, as adults, we're like the sky is blue because so and so. Um, so, what I'm saying for you is, uh, although I see there is a lot of intricacies and there's a lot of complexities to this connection, I feel like just try and simplify things. Okay, you have feelings for this person. This person has feelings for you. The two of you have a history together. You have an unexplored connection. Take it from there instead of just trying to overwhelm yourself with all the regrets you had about this connection or all the past mistakes or all the missed opportunities that you know have come and gone okay let's just try to focus on the positive instead of all the complexities and the intricacies of it because there's a lot um and the further you sort of over the more you overwhelm yourself with all the complexities the more i feel like you, you'll push this person away so just you know try and simplify things and make sure you do reach out when you are ready and you will know when you're ready you're quite an intuitive emotional individual you will feel it okay don't let anyone else tell you when you're ready you know when you're ready okay um you will feel it trust me you will feel it so i'm just going to pull out a card um and we we just want to know if we can be given a time frame from when this person might come back into your life or um when the two of you might have a reconciliation or at least a message here from the angels okay you do have a mess and, it, and it's flown out. It's a success. So I do feel very strongly that the second time around for the two of you will be a success. The first time it failed, let's be honest. The first time you guys quite couldn't quite get it right. And that's okay because I feel like the reason why it didn't work out is because you, my D, needed some inner work. You had some inner work to do. You needed to work on yourself and your person needed to work on themselves. And I feel like that's why... It couldn't happen because you couldn't be everything that um, they would need you to be in. You know, they couldn't be everything that you would need for them to be. So I feel like the first time, we, we can't always get it right the first time. And that's okay. And I feel like some of our biggest successes come from our failures. So the second time around will be a success here. Okay, when do I see... <clears throat> When do I see communication? I see it happening quickly because of the primal energy of the element of fire. You know, think fire and think the saying it spreads like wildfire. It can happen in a matter of days or weeks. Or essentially, if this isn't a time reference I'm picking up, then I feel like once you make a decision, once you decide that, yes, you want to, you know, explore the connection with them, or yes, you want to give them a second chance, or yes, you want to reach out and communicate and open up to them, then it will have happen quickly from that energy field. All right, lovelies, and this is your reading. I just want to thank you guys for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so 
please feel free to check out the channel. And for those of you that are after personal reading, feel free to reach out. My email will be listed below. Bye for now.